But wait, there's more. What's up, guys? It's your boy, Benny. You don't become the world's richest man by being stupid or by creating products that nobody wants. Bob Iger is learning that right now. And Elon Musk, fresh off of nuking Bob Iger and Disney, has traveled to Texas to unveil the Cybertruck in the Cybertruck launch event that looks so incredibly dope. This is the Cybertruck production line Elon Musk tweeting about. Uh, and man, this event just looked awesome. There was a really, really special gathering in Texas. Oh, that's, uh, I think Elon Musk's, I think that's little X. I think that's Elon Musk's son waving at his father as he unveiled Cybertruck, much anticipated, probably the most anticipated vehicle in human history, along with the bullet holes or lack thereof inside of the stainless steel outline of a car that looks like the future. Elon Musk often saying the future should look like the future, and this indeed does. Ladies and gentlemen, the uh, event and the launch was really, really successful and really cool. The bulletproof strength of the Cybertruck. Tell you what, in Joe Biden's America, in big cities, you're going to need one of these. <laughs> Bad boys couldn't, couldn't happen at a better time. Couldn't have launched at a better time. This is what it looks like when you fire bullets at the Cybertruck in 45 and in 9 millimeter. Man, super slow mo. Oh, that's just beautiful. Look at that. That's just amazing. It's just a matrix. I was Ooh. really nervous. God, that's so awesome. that's again very useful in Joe Biden's America. All right, so this was. This is a Come on. gauge. <laughs> That's amazing. And then they shot up a pickup truck. Went right through. Remarkable. Elon Musk has spent zero dollars in advertising for Tesla. He's never spent any money in advertising uh, because the products sell themselves. And it's videos like this and demonstrations like this that prove that, along with the Cybertruck beating a Porsche in a drag race with a special little addendum at the very end. Watch this. Okay, all right. Cybertruck versus Porsche. Drag track. Going fast. Zip, zip. 911. But wait, versus there's Cybertruck. More. What's that? The Cybertruck is towing a Porsche. <laughs> it's genius. Elon Musk is a... Uh, is a marketing genius and is very, very important to sort of take a step back and say, you know, there's a reason why this guy is the richest man in the world. You have to actually build things. You have to actually create things. And at the same time that Bob Iger is saying his major focus is going to be the uh, Marvel movies, Elon Musk is making life multi-planetary, shooting guns at the Cybertruck and saving free speech. Really cool to see the behind the scenes of their testing at the Cybertruck. Uh, this is the Cybertruck's uh, official X account that uh, that X posted this yesterday. So I thought this was a really awesome backgrounder. I cannot wait to buy one of these. I think all the price points are under $100,000 for even the top line model of the Cybertruck. I, I want to get one. I want to get one. Sign me up. Sign me up. Especially after watching this video. Check it out. Hey. I need everybody to clear out. We've already tested shopping carts and we've tested door dings. Today we're going to get a chance to test the actual bullet performance. So when we first started the design for Cybertruck, the goal was to come up with something that had an exoskeleton. We had to make a custom alloy to make it more ductile. While we're at it, we also made it a bit more corrosion resistant. So this is a 300 series. Our panels are up to 1.8 millimeters thick. So actually carrying structural load, not just there for aesthetics. Obviously we didn't design it to be bulletproof, but if it works out in the end, it's just icing on the cake. So we've got a couple guns here to go through, starting with a nine millimeter Glock, shotgun, double op buck, and of course, Tommy gun, 45 caliber. So we'll get all these through tested today and we'll see the results. Range is hot.
Clear. I was really nervous. It's hard to say how nervous I was, but it worked out. We, we took a tummy gun to the side of this truck and everything looks intact. All right, moment of truth. It's pretty good. This one intense. Appreciate that. Yes! Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Happy? So that's nine millimeter, 115 grain from a Glock. We're looking pretty good. We got one spot where we got a double hit. And so we've got a little bit of cracking, but everywhere else, we've just got a crater. Looks good. All right, so this was an MP5. It's the same nine millimeter, 115 grain. It's going a bit faster. We've got only a four inch barrel, but an eight inch suppressor on that. So you can kind of see obviously a bit more tighter grouping, but um, yeah, still no penetration. So looking good. This is a 12 gauge M4 shotgun with double op buck. Took five rounds, held up pretty well. We had one where we've got two of the buck shots hit right in the same spot. Got a bit of a through hole there. Let's see if it made it all the way through. Well, the inside of the panel's good. There's no hole here. Let's see about the glass. Yeah, we got a little crack in the glass, but it held. All the windows are intact. Everything functions just as it did when we started here. So I call it a success. <laughs> so don't believe the movies. When you shoot a normal truck, the bullets go in one side, straight through, and out the other side. You cannot hide behind the vehicle to be safe, so it's something to keep in mind. Unless you're in a Cybertruck. <laughs>